Why is Mrs. Kane, the current spouse of Mr. Kane, filming children? And what do the rational viewers think about this? Specifically the ones who are not distracted masturbating all day. Our thoughts and more on tonight's show. Now it wasn't long ago when everyone had the opportunity to witness Mrs. Kane filming at least one child while she was at a kiddie playland and coffee shop. And of course, no one in the community had any problem with that. Many just watched the story on her fetishized Instagram profile, where the video was originally posted. And in order to show the general viewers that we're not lying, we'll roll and react to the video right now that she uploaded to Instagram on March 12th of this year. Let's take a look at the tape. Here we go. Uh, right. Ba, 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 ba. There. See? That video of a child sitting alone should not be associated with a fetishized 18 plus Instagram account. And one question for the rational viewers What if that was your child? And someone who is known as a belly fetishized feederism figure pulled out their camera and began filming them. How would you feel, really? You can ignore what Mr. Kane likely writes out on other sites about us being obsessed with the Kanes for one moment and think about this. Really, what would you think about a situation in which your young child was posted on a fetishized profile? And if one of the Canes somehow managed to copyright this video even though we just gave an immediate full reaction to the content we just used 5 seconds ago, we're gonna remake this and post it on Twitter so you can see it for yourself. And it will also expose that the Canes watch this show, and neither of them want you the viewer, to know that Mr. Kane likely watches me more than anyone, which I'm so honored, I love Mr. Kane. Now let's analyze our thoughts about this situation. Here you have Candy out in public, filming children, and posting the videos to social media. When she knows well enough that her entire follower base is following her to catch fetishized photos and videos. Our only question is, how did no one criticize her for this? Well at the very least, that tells you a lot about the community. They do not care about children's safety. Someone should get to the bottom of this, but you already know that no one in the community is going to lift a finger about it. They just want to get off to more photos she might upload. Oh, by the way Candy just went on another vacation. And how was it funded? Take your guess. From the mostly lost young men at mom's house pleasuring themselves all night. We're immediately assuming that her husband was there with the crew. Obviously it's healthy, likely taking a break from World of Warcraft and talking about Silkavaya anonymously, and well, he was likely soaking up the sun there too. And while they were there, Candy, unsurprisingly, took a lot of photos with her phone, the phone that was likely paid for through her online profits from belly playing videos. And a lot of these photos were uploaded to her Instagram profile along with videos. While she was walking on the sidewalk with her friend who I don't recognize, she managed to turn the camera around just in time to film three young children that were with their mother, and yeah, she uploaded this video to her fetishized profile. This is not intellectual property, therefore we're going to quickly react here, roll the video. All right, we were walking, and then, stop. Candy, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you tell your friend that you want to stop for a minute and take a photo of the buildings and the sky, where anyone would stand next to them at which point, they would be out of the view of your camera, that in this situation, you're using to upload on your mature Instagram page. There's literally no concern for these children here. And the fact that the community had no problem with this, tells you the viewer, everything you need to know about them. Shame on you Candy. Hope the vacation was real fun.